Hey everybody, Robbie here at RV Sales War again. Today we're taking a look at this absolute beauty of a bus. It's a 2007 Country Coach Allure 470. Um, it has the tag axle if you're 44 feet. Uh, it's a tag axle with a Cummins ISL in the back on a Dynamax chassis. Um, for those of you that don't know, Country Coach is one of the greatest manufacturers to be in the RV industry. Um, for those of you that do know that, you already know that. Um, so we'll leave it at that. Um, but let's just get walking around it. I'm going to go try and go kind of quick. There's a ton of features here. I don't want to drag this video out too long. Um, but single glass windshield, um, very, very nice. Generators tucked away right in here. This whole uh, bottom chin of this rig will come out. Um, it is released from right in this bay here. I don't remember if it's electric or just uh, a full loose. Um, we're not going to find out in this video. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so um, in and out. So you can run your generator in and out on a switch there. The rest of the stuff, touch it if you want. If it was me, I'll take it to a shop when it gets to that part. Um, we have some newer wheels on here. These guys are from 2019, um, so good to go for quite a while. Um, we have the window awnings all along the side, as well as slide topper awnings there. Great windows all around the outside here. It's a full body paint. Um, looks really, really nice. I'm going to skip some of these bay doors. We'll open it from the far side. So big pass-through storage in there. Um, inside we have our transfer switch, uh, breaker panel for the transfer switch, and then that's basically it in there. Something on the far side, we'll get to that. And here we should have our wash bay. Stainless steel wash bay. Country Coach always did a good job making it look nice. Easy to keep clean when it's stainless steel. Um, you have black tank flush, gray tank flush, which is kind of odd. You don't normally see that. And an outside sink, or it could be shower with the right connection. Um, hot and cold water. Use it however you want. More for just kind of cleaning up out here, washing the dog off, things like that. Easy access to low point drains. Um, you have a soap dispenser. You have a sprayer built in. Um, that's all really nice and easy there. Uh, another big slide. This is the bedroom slide. You'll see what this does for you when we get to the inside. But again, slide topper, window awning is there. Um, our tag axle, it is a tag, not tandem. So this is your drive axle. This guy will lift up to be able to articulate the rig a little bit tighter. Um, Dynamax, the chassis that Country Coach used, turns so darn tight that if you don't lift that thing up, you're basically just dragging rubber sideways. You're basically pivoting on your inside rear tire. So that's when you want to lift it up. Not going to hurt anything if you don't, but you're just going to shorten the life of your tires by dragging rubber around. Um, side mounted radiator. Um, you have trans cooler, intercooler, um, and your radiator all in here. 50 amp power cord on a reel, on a powered reel. This guy here, so you're not having to do it by hand. Um, big, beautiful fiberglass cap in the rear. Backup camera up top. Um, of course, there's a ladder extension. You don't have to jump up that. Um, and then this hitch, I mean, with the motor it has, with the chassis it's on, you can tow whatever you want, but uh, let's say 8,000 pounds or so. You probably go up to 12, 15. But uh, anyway, it's got the hitch, got the seven pin there. Even it has the connection for air brakes if you're towing something that still has air brakes, which is not that common anymore, but you've got it if you need it. Um, nice clean engine bay. Again, Cummins ISL. Uh, easy to get the belts and stuff like this when you don't have... Uh, a rear mounted radiator having a side mounted radiator just makes it so much easier but uh, you can get to everything get to the top end of the motor from inside um, air filters oil filters get to your belts obviously nice and easy coming down the passenger side we have two more slides both with slide topper awnings and window awnings on uh, on this one I guess not up front it's a little different Oh, because you have your main awning up front. So just window, window awning there. You have your main awning covering that slide up there. So you don't really need it. Our big battery bay. Um, for those of you that don't know batteries, this is probably about $1,200 worth of battery there. $1,200 there. $1,200 there. And then probably about $250 there. So good. Oh, and a third one. So um, these are some big batteries. For those of you that are interested... The uh, amp hour capacity for each one of these things is 255 hours. So should keep you going for quite a while. These are just your uh, chassis batteries for, for cranking the motor over. Um, but 250, 250, well 255, but 
I mean, you got a thousand plus amp hours here of batteries. Um, didn't come cheap to the previous owner, so nice to have. Um, right here, this thing that says Zantrac, this big silver one, is uh, your inverter um, and also I think a charger um, to help charge your 12 volt system when you're hooked up to power. But my guess is it's a 2000, but it's so big that I wouldn't be surprised if it's bigger. But I can confidently say it's at least a 2000 watt um, in, uh, uh, inverter. Again, nice big powered awning by Colorado Carefree. Just press a button, that comes out. It does have a wind sensor on it, so if the wind picks up, whatever it is, 26 miles an hour, it'll send itself back in before it can get hurt. Um, our AquaHot system, this is the big AquaHot system. So um, most people are familiar with them. It's an AquaHot system, it's a hydronic heating system, it uses diesel fire or electric, but um, mostly being used for diesel fire you get radiant heated floors endless hot water you can preheat your motor with them um, they're just absolutely wonderful and the 450d is to my knowledge about the biggest one they made so um, really nice system the nicest of a very nice system here we have oh this is a mystery tub let's see what's in here oh a tv oh how fun might be time for an update on the TV, but check that out. That's pretty cool. Swings out. Oh, yeah. This thing's a dinosaur, but um, TVs have only gotten smaller. So whatever you decide to put in there, you're going to have some extra room when that thing slides away. But very cool. Very cool. Lights all throughout the basement so you can actually see what you're doing in there. And let's check out these bays. We didn't see them the first time. So nice Joey bed. That looks like it's uh, your standard Joey bed. So that's going to go out either way, about 60%. So you can load that stuff in the middle without uh, having to crawl into the basement. Um, and you can see that it looks like that was done after the fact, not by Country Coach. But it's been uh, partitioned into three different squares there to keep things a little bit more organized. Nice touch. Our big propane tank here looks to be about a 40-gallon propane tank. Um, easy to get to your fill. You know, nothing to write home about, but big propane tank. Big basement door. Um, yeah, let me show you this Joey bed, actually, because this thing looks like it's got some got some stuff on it. What am I doing on here? Unlatch. Unlatch. Oh, that's embarrassing. If you just want to poke your head in, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I'm not seeing the latch, but anyway, um, again, partition it out. You have nice little storage boxes there for tools and things like this, which would be huge. Um, this will come out 60% this way, go at 60% that way, so you can get to everything in here, just like I mentioned in the other other bay. All right, let's go check out the inside. Um, always like to point out, you have a fuel door there, fuel door on the other side. It's one tank, but you got two fill necks, so you can't pull into the gas station the wrong way. Um, country coach. As far as I know, has always done a good job of having really nice deep and depth and steps. Your whole foot fits on it. Um, you get a slightly wider door, which makes getting in and out a little bit easier. But come look at this beauty. Don't spoil it. Don't look back yet. Um, so kind of your, your standard setup. You have, well, I shouldn't say standard used to seeing these in these nice diesel pushers. You have the smart wheel here. Um, you can set your cruise control, your brights, um, high idle there, your windshield wipers, your fog lights. Everything's controlled here. You don't have to take your hands off the wheel for the stuff that you know you immediately need while driving. HWH leveling system. This is a hydraulic leveling system. Um, four point jacks. Um, with does not have auto level. So you're leveling it out yourself. Um, but just nice hwh is still being used to this day for almost every pusher so nice system there easy to work on people like them for good reason um, on this side we have our allison six speed transmission selector um, i believe this is an allison 3000 um, pretty standard setup there most people know that but it's all push selected you have a two-stage exhaust brake so three cylinder and six cylinder you can select that or just turn it off um, you have powered visors here for these guys up front these ones on the side are manual. Um, these are your privacy curtains. So, so this guy is, 
for a full shade block. You can put that down, but it's not meant, I mean, it can be used for privacy. It'll block everything you want to, you don't want people to see, but, but these are your true privacy curtains. These guys close um, all the way around or they meet with another one on that side. Um, updated head unit here. Um, actually, no, it could be original. I don't know, but it's also a DVD player, so I know it'll play the DVDs for that. It's all programmed throughout, so it's also a place with all the speakers in here as well as your TV will do the same thing. Um, this is your engine diagnostics and just computer board for the rig, so you can check diagnostics, see how your trip's going, um, fuel consumption, temperatures of different units on the rig, uh, battery levels, it, almost anything you can think of. That's what this is for here. Um, and then just kind of your standard stuff here. You can select your backup camera. You can adjust these pedals. Um, so it is a all air system, but you can adjust these pedals. Um, yeah, lift your tag axle up. Anyway, not enough about that stuff. Let's keep going. Um, both of these seats do recline. They do swivel. This one actually has the leg rest on it. And they're actually both heated and massage chairs as well. So nice stuff there. Um, added in after the fact, but a great touch, maps, books, whatever it might be, magazines, um, rack there and rack here. Um, also added in a central vacuum, that's what this unit is here. And then you get this kind of nice big work area, you can use it, you know, however you want. Um, this guy pulls out for like keyboards and things like that. Um, but just a nice desk space or just more storage, whatever you need to use it for. I mean, you have all these cabinets, more storage up above. I always have to point out when it, when we're in these kind of coaches, the videos can't quite show build quality unless you've been in one of these things. But it's all solid wood throughout this thing. It uh, looks to be like a maple, a really nice maple. Um, Corian counters, you have tree tile floors. I mean, these things were made so beautifully. Um, all these here that you see are heat exchangers for that aqua hot system. So on this rig, you, you have heat pumps. You have a propane furnace, and then on top of all that, when you're running your diesel fire furnace, which is diesel or electric, you can use the heat exchangers to force air through it and actually heat the place like that. So you have three different ways to heat the rig. Um, but again, also with this tile, so nice to be barefoot with heated floors, you know, in the morning, you don't have cold feet. Uh, we have Corian type counters here in the kitchen. We have, I believe, a three burner stove by Atwood. Yes, we do, three burner stove by Atwood microwave convection oven right above it um, called an advantum 12.0 good size one bigger than most ovens that you're really going to get in a motorhome um, let's see that's just a towel rack big storage pots and pans things like that always need to have a big one for that um, and then just more all the way around and this was added in after the fact but very handy um, oh forgot about the couch right behind you this guy does pull out into a bed. It is nice and pleather couch. It's got the pull out style bed there. So the biggest of them is probably going to be right about a queen size, maybe a little bit shorter. Um, again, I can't say it enough. Look at all this beautiful woodwork. Everything's dovetailed on these, the way they're put together, and it's solid throughout. Even your balances on your windows are made of solid wood. Um, Country Coach always has to do a good job putting their little bar in just for touch of class. We have the, the floating table here that leaves out to dine for. There's two folding chairs in the back that come with it. More storage by your dinette here um, and a nice place to keep something to protect yourself right up there. That's what I'd use that for. I know exactly what I'd keep up there. You can use it however you want. Nice hidden space. No one really goes looking for stuff in. Um, you have this nice pantry opposing your, your fridge right as it should be. Canned goods, dry goods. Plenty of space for that stuff. We have a two-way fridge here. Gas and electric, propane and electric, I should say. Pardon me. No, it's not. This is a residential fridge. That's why it's so deep. 22 cubic feet. My goodness, this thing's huge. Ice maker up top. It feeds through the door. Purified water comes out of here as well. Um, here's, like I said, floor heat, um, RO water, I don't know what RO water stands for, but we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, the floor heat, nice, tank monitors here, just lights, water pumps, things like that there. Um, we have a pocket door here, which, again, you got to see these things in person to really understand the build quality. But even your pocket doors, well, that's only doing that because it's out, but it's a solid wood, 
you know, built really nice, good rollers, feels sturdy. Come on back. I want to take a peek at that commode there. Plenty of room for your knees, porcelain potty, um, good storage up behind the commode there. Uh, and a nice little vanity on the other side. Still Corian on the counter, medicine cabinet as well. Perfectly functional little rig here. Control panels here, room extensions, uh, room selectors for running your slides out, um, meter for your shore power, and shoot thermostat. So it's zoned heating, you can have it warmer up there than back here or however you want to do it. And then the van track here is for that inverter that we hooked at from the outside. Oh, down below, this is controls for the hydro hot system, the aqua hot. So I think I did enough explaining of that for now. Um, good size vanity, plenty of storage back behind it for toothbrushes, things like that, whatever you might need. Again, added in after the fact, but I hate these mirrors. The way they zoom in on your face, I think they should be illegal. But um, I know my wife likes them, and some other people do. Um, yeah. Nice, good size medicine cabinet there. Some extra lights added in, and then the factory lights from Country Coach. Um, good storage down below. The nice thing about these two, they're just logical. All your heat, water pump buttons and things like that are all always right next to where there's water. Um, so you don't need to go walking through the house to turn your water pump on. Um, good size shower in here. Nice glass enclosure. Um, super good in height. I mean, I'm 6'2", I'm 6'3", six, six, with my boots on. I can get my hands literally straight up almost. Um, plenty of room side to side. Um, it's got the nice little shower head in here and shampoo and soap dispenser. Um, coming into the bedroom, this is where the tile ends. Um, and I think for good reason, it's kind of nice having carpet when you first get out of bed in the morning. So carpet there. Here we have a queen size bed with plenty of room to put a king in. If you wanted to put a king in, it's actually built for that. So um, if you want to go bigger, please, by all means, go bigger. Do whatever's best for you. Um, you have plugs on either side of this bed with your nice little nightstands, um, good storage up above, and um, you know, good, good storage right there to the camera side of the, of the bed there. Updated smart TV here, uh, plumbed in nicely. Looks like it's meant to be here, but this is a newer TV. They did not have this in 2007. Um, and then a nice way that they did this space, because aspect ratio has changed on TVs where they used to be taller, um, than they are now. Now it's 16 by 9, used to be 4 by 3. Um, so they use this as not wasted space. So you have storage back here, and this is all open here. So you can you can hide some stuff, and uh, it doesn't glare at you. You know, it looks right. Um, good storage down below. And then you got the big, big, big deep one there. A couple of uh, jacket holders, things like that. I'm not really sure what you want to use this space for. Do whatever you like with it. You know, it's your rig. But nice little window there. More Corian counters. More storage down below and up above. Um, looks like this is where they had their DVD player and things like that. Makes sense. Good spot for it. And those cables nice and clean across. Here we have another big closet that is actually pre-plumbed for a washer and dryer. Uh, with this space, you could either do a combo unit down below, the washer dryer combo units, or you could even do a stackable. You've got plenty of room for it. So <coughs> if that's something you need in your rig, it is uh, <coughs> definitely something that can be done here. And then you have the nice big rear closet there for hanging up the taller stuff. Probably, you know, hers, his, that one. That's probably how it would go, at least in my household. Uh, more storage to the side as well. And then here we got some stuff that uh, I think is just not exciting in that box. Things, engine components and, and such. But let's see if we got any storage under this bed. Probably not much. Sure don't. Heat exchanger. Giant subwoofer under the bed. Didn't know that was there. That's kind of nice. It'll rock the bed pretty good. Uh, and just a heat exchanger down there for the... Uh, for your aqua hot system for heating the rig. All right, let's walk back through real quick. I, I feel like I gotta do this thing justice. Um, how nice it is. You have the ducted AC all through the ceilings. Again, you have a heat pump on here uh, for heat as well. Oh yeah, our dyna. I guess I showed you that. We'll leave it at that, guys. I'm I'm sorry. I, I'm sure I left a lot of stuff out. It's hard to do rigs like this in a in a set amount of time. You really need to spend some time. So if you haven't been in one of these, come 
take a look. I'll spend as much time with you explaining what I know about them and, and why they're such a superior rig. Um, or just call me. I'm happy to share with you too. I just want to make this video 45 minutes. So thank you guys for checking this one out. Um, again, it's a 2007 Country Foot to Lower 470, uh, 44 foot with the tag axle, Cummins ISL, Allison's six, six speed, 3000 transmission, uh, all maple wood in here, real tile floor. I mean, it's just beautiful. So um, if you want to know more, give me a shout. If you really want to know more, come and see the rig. That's the best way to, to really see the quality and what you're getting your hands on. So um, thank you guys for checking out the video, and I hope you have a nice day.